welcome to part seven of the uh, Peterbilt 359 build up. Uh, there are uh, a couple of things I'm doing um, that have changed. Um, I'm not sure whether I went through them before. The actual uh, grill itself um, is going to be done in the same as the body colour and also the front bumper. Um, I've also found online some uh, sort of diamond shaped wire mesh that's going to go in there. So what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to sort of cut this, uh, this grill out and put the wire mesh in in its place instead. Um, and I've also got some uh, one millimetre sort of styrene that I can put down just to replicate those three bars that are at the front there as well. Uh, the good thing about these bars um, is that there's like a rivet um, sort of like just on the outside of that one. One in the middle for that one and then one on the inside for that one there. So that's going to make it a bit easier. So I can cut this grill out and then just insert the uh, uh, insert the new one. In fact, I think what I'm going to do to begin with is uh, just cut this out. The one millimeter strips I'll get painted in the set or get get the one millimeter strips in, um, and then I can paint the whole thing in body color. The badge itself up here, what I'm going to do it is again is just sort of put the, uh, the the chrome marker in there, um, and then the peat belt I'll just do in red. Uh, so that should look pretty good. Uh, the actual grill when it comes in, um, I'll paint that chrome as well, and then I'll be able to slip that in from behind. Um, so that's going to look pretty cool. So main aim of the game for this now really is just to get this uh, grill taken out, tidy it all up, uh, and get that painted. Um, I've already covered up the the light covers, or sorry, I've already covered up the lights as well for that's ready for the spray. So that's going to be pretty good. I'm pretty excited about that. With um, also got all of the auxiliary parts for the cab uh, done in the, uh, the violet as well which is great they just now need to be um, lacquered the uh, the little stripes around here once once I've put the lacquer on these little stripes here will then be chromed as well um, so that'll be good and it's the same with all the other bits and pieces the uh, the hood itself um, that has been painted on the inside as well now um, so that's looking pretty tidy I just need to um, put the um, uh, clear coat on that one cool. I have to think about that for a second and um, we've also got the front bumper uh, done as well in the violet on both sides and around the edges etc so I can now go ahead back and again with this do the clear coat on that and that would be fine um, I just need to on this one I just need to sort of sand that down there a bit because we've the paint has gone a bit funny so I'll just sand that down and then I, I'll be able to give it its last coat of uh, the violet um, the other thing that really does need to be done as well obviously is this um, that's all done I just need to do the silver coat on that I'm going to do that bottom side black um, and then obviously uh, once I've got this bit sorted out as I say do the silver on that and then do the black and then do the violet on there as well um, so yeah that's looking pretty good it's going to be a few days before the uh, uh, the diamond shaped mesh comes in um, but that's not a problem I can just get everything else sorted out whilst I'm waiting for that to come in um, the actual stuff that I've got coming in I think it cost me three quid and it's uh, I think it's uh, about A5 size um, so that's pretty good so for three quid you can't really complain too much so yeah that's what I'm going to do I'm just going to uh, get on get all of those little bits sorted out uh, and as soon as I've got uh, some more progress done on this wee beastie I will come back to you got some uh, work carried out to the uh, the grill uh, of this uh, wee beastie um, 
we've now removed uh, what was the old grill um, which wasn't see-through and we've got all that smoothed out nice and level which is good so that's uh, that's uh, starting to look pretty good now one of the other things that I have also done as well is the wires for the lights I've run them down the uh, the hinges um, for the hood uh, and I've purposely kind of stopped them at those edges just there because what I'm going to need to do is work out how much slack I'm going to need uh, from these hinges when the bonnet sort of or the hood sort of tilts forward um, and the only way that I'm really going to be able to kind of get that right is by actually fitting the whole front end together um, so I'm going to leave those wires um, as they are like so uh, which now means that I just need to clean this up a little bit and get rid of some of the dust on it can then get this painted uh, in the silver uh, and then uh, I'll be able to get the um, the violet on there which is good uh, and when I'm doing the silver I'll also uh, do the silver on this as well and then we'll all be done oh yeah also need to then work out the two tone uh, on this uh, which I'll do once um, I've got the little uh, once I've got the cab sorted out as well um, I just need to do a little bit more work on that and as soon as I've got that bit done I can then get this and the cab attached to the body to work out where the two tone for this particular part is going to end up um, so we're kind of moving along um, I'm still waiting for the grill to come in uh, or the wire mesh to come in for that uh, hopefully that'll be in at some point next week but I'm in no rush for it to be fair um, I mean I've still got a little bit of work to do because I've got to replace the uh, the slats that, that were on there as well get those glued in um, and then get the thing painted so we've got a little bit of work left to do on that at the moment um, but that's about it for the moment um, and I did make a boo-boo at the beginning of this video I did say it was part I did say welcome to part seven but this is actually part eight uh, but hey ho never mind we will uh, we will make silly mistakes um, but there you go so as soon as I've got some more work done to this I will come back to you made some pretty good progress on the truck uh, over the last few days um, we've got the two-tone effect down now so the bonnet itself or the hood um, with the fenders that's completely painted now and that's just waiting for the clear coat to go on it which is fantastic the uh, grill uh, that's also had uh, the uh, a, a couple of coats of uh, silver paint followed by a couple of layers of the um, the violet uh, and that's looking quite good as well and the good thing is is the fact that the wires that uh, the run down the uh, the hinges they're barely noticeable which is good um, obviously we've got this bit of slack down this side for them um, but you know most of that will be hidden I'm just waiting for the mesh uh, to come in so my general uh, plan is is to get everything that I can get clear coated um, and then leave that to dry for sort of, you know to cure properly for, for, for uh, about three days once that's done um, I can then get the mesh grill in <coughs> sorry excuse me once the mesh grill is in, um, I can then get the, uh, the the strips in, the little bars uh, that go in um, on the front. We've got a, like a little rivet there, and there's a corresponding one at the bottom as well. Uh, and the first bar, the edge kind of lines uh, lines up with both points there, so it's kind of more to that side. And then we've got the one in the middle there. Uh, so that bar would be in the middle of both of those rivets and then we've got 
uh, another rivet there and then another rivet there and again this on this side it'll sit to that side of the rivet um, once they're in I'll then be able to tape off uh, the radiator surrounds on that uh, and then put some masking tape on the inside and then use the Molotow chrome and then just go in and paint those um, and then basically do the same um, on the inside so it's all kind of level the uh, main cab itself uh, we've got the two-tone effect on that um, I decided in the end because I couldn't really think of a, a way of doing the two-tone so I just thought right okay well <laughs> I've done enough procrastinating now I need some action so what I've basically done is just stopped it short of the windscreen surround which coincidentally lines up with uh, the doors as well um, so I need to get the three coats of, or what I'm going to do with this one is get two coats of clear on it then I'll put the decals on it that I need to get done then I'll put the uh, third and final coat of clear coat on once that's done and again cured for three days I'll then be able to um, sort of start putting on all the little lights that I need uh, at the top uh, and then get the wires running through the outside and then I'll be able to mask off the uh, the surround or the windscreen surrounds and also the top of the door surrounds as well and get them clear coated or oh, sorry get those coated with the uh, Molotow liquid chrome and then I'll be able to start putting on some of the uh, the auxiliary parts for this as well. So that's not looking too bad. Quite happy with the way that that's turned out. Um, there's also, once everything else is done, there's also a, a few parts in here that need to be done in different colours as well. Um, but I'll just get that all done once the, um, the, the, the clear coat's gone down. Uh, we've also got the rear lights finished now. Um, if we can bring those in hopefully you can see there uh, we've got the uh, the covers that have been done in the uh, to me a clear red color um, and then the surrounds have been done in uh, a semi gloss black they uh, will go on um, around the same time that I put the front bumper on actually I think <laughs> um, again that needs to be clear coated uh, that needs to have three, three coats of the uh, the clear coat on it and then I need to get all the lights in that so again I'd need to wait for 72 hours for that to cure properly before I can start putting the lights on that one um, and then I can get all of those sorted out and get those put on to, to, the, to the rolling chassis uh, I've also been working on uh, the little man he's not quite finished yet there's a little bit more work uh, to go uh, but we've got the shirt painted um, we're in the throes of uh, painting the arms as well and the face um, his little boots have been painted still need to do the belt buckle um, and I also just need to uh, do a little bit of work with the buttons on the shirt as well uh, and I also need to do his hair um, but he's not looking too bad once he's finished I'll be able to get him in the cab and then the cab will be finished which would be great um, yeah and then once the actual cab itself is, is, is finished and all the wires are run through for the for the lights on the top I'll be able to put the false ceiling in I'll be able to get that painted put the flocking on it and get that painted uh, and then I can get all of that installed um, and I can get the cabin in, then installed into the um, the main body of the cab and then we can work out where the wires need to go from there um, and then I've just got all of the the last little auxiliary parts really that, that go on the uh, the main cab uh, like these two bits um, again they need three coats of clear on there uh, and once they're fully cured I just need to do the uh, the chrome rings that go around those so they look pretty good uh, and yeah, I, I mean, hopefully it's not going to take too much longer to do uh, these bits. The um, the actual sleeper cab itself, 
Uh, that's been painted in the silver and it's waiting for the two-tone to go on top of that. This part is going to need to be done in uh, matte black. But it's quite easy to do. I can just mask off the bottom of that really. Um, when, it, when it comes around to doing that I can just mask that off. But I kind of really need to get the body um, or the, the, the cab and the sleeper cab on the... Uh, the chassis really just to find out how I'm going to do the two-tone effect on that um, I've kind of got a funny feeling that what I'm going to end up doing is um, where the line on this ends is kind of go up at a diagonal um, so it kind of stops near the top of the roof and then just mask it off mask the roof off area uh, and the other parts of the silver, so it kind of you've got an angled um, section to that, really. Um, but I don't know yet. We'll soon find out. Um, but yeah, not not too far away now from from getting some of the um, other bits added to the chassis, um, and that would be cool. That that would be pretty good. I'm I'm kind of looking forward to that. Um, it's just going to take a little while just to get all of these bits uh, properly painted. Uh, as soon as I've got some more uh, work done to this, um, I will come back to you. Funny thing just happened, I was just getting the update um, sorted out for this uh, this video and uh, getting everything uh, transferred from the camera to the PC so I could start editing and there was a knock on the door uh, from uh, the boost man um, and he gave me a lovely surprise it was the uh, aluminium mesh uh, that I was looking for or that I'd ordered um, I, was, I wasn't expecting that to come in until sort of uh, late this week uh, you know sort of like towards the middle of this week to, to, to the end of next week um, it turned up today so quite happy about that um, it actually comes shipped on uh, a, a bit of hardboard uh, and then they put some masking tape down the middle of it just to hold it in so it doesn't get bent in the post however as soon as you take the masking tape off it, it kind of does that but I mean that's not a biggie really once this the whole thing's in place um, I mean this is about an, uh, about an E5 sheet um, so if we get the grill that <coughs> obviously still hasn't been painted yet um, but if we can kind of try and get that uh, some some way into the gap you can see there that looks pretty good and it's also going to open up so you can see the uh, see the engine bow as well so I'm really really happy that this has come in uh, the good thing with this as well because it looks looks in scale um, I can actually use this on the grill of the 65 Mustang that I've got because that grill is is completely closed in as well so basically I'll be able to, um, from the grill plate that you get with that, I'll be able to uh, chop out the long bar that's got the Mustang logo in the, in the middle of it as well and then just transplant that onto the, uh, the uh, wire mesh. And if I'm lucky, um, I'd have to double check it really though, um, if, but if I'm lucky it might also look pretty good on the uh 124 scale london bus and london taxi that i've got as well um if it does look good that's great because there's more than enough for three quid there's more than enough there uh to to do all of them really uh and then i'd still have some left over and um, plus the fact this stuff then as well um would be pretty good you know when i sort of get back to doing the sci-fi models um I might actually also be able to use this for the um, uh, the impulse grills as well. Uh, that kind of add a little bit more sort of depth and realism to them, uh, so that'll be pretty good. Um, yeah, so I thought I'd show you that before um, you know I, I sort of got the video ready to uh, put out there in YouTube land. Also, one other thing as well. Um, I'm going to ask a favor of somebody out there in YouTube land as well. Um, I need 
uh, as you most probably remember from um, episode 7, I need a decal that's going to go in this area here uh, of the Wild E Coyote. Um, now, unfortunately, my printer does not have sufficient DPI um, to be able to make a really, really good uh, decal. Comes out really nice on, on, on paper, but then when I try and transfer it over to um, uh, uh, decal paper, or the decal sheet, um, it's really blurry, and I've messed about with the settings on my printer as well, and I just cannot get it to come out anything other than blurry, uh, which is a shame. So if there's anybody out there in YouTube land um, that would be willing to help me in that area, that would be absolutely fantastic. If you just let me know, um, I can send over the picture to you and the sizes that, that I need it to be. Um, obviously, I am more than willing to pay you for your time, the materials and the postage to get that to me. Um, so yeah, if there is anybody that's willing to do that for me, I would much appreciate it. And if you just let me know, then as I say, I can just send you all the all the bits and pieces via email. And that, that would be fantastic. Um, I'm going to kind of like leave it here now on this uh, particular update, because I think it's getting a bit too long. Uh, sometimes I do get a bit too carried away and they go sort of like 30 minutes and over. Um, so I'm, I'm going to kind of like leave it there and then hopefully in the next update you'll see some um, some parts of the, uh, the, the you know the, the, the cabin some uh, the auxiliary parts etc uh, in clear coat uh, which would be good <laughs> nice and shiny um, so yeah I'm going to leave it there um, so thank you for watching thank you for subscribing and uh, thank you for all the comments that you leave it is much appreciated and uh, I'll catch you in the next update. So until then, thanks for watching and please do take care.